I am Dr. Michelle Klinger. I'm a licensed psychologist and licensed professional clinical counselor, and I'm the clinical director of Firelands Counseling and Recovery Services. And I'm going to talk to you about the benefits of expressing gratitude. I love the story of the very first Thanksgiving. And if I'm remembering correctly from my childhood, what occurred at the first Thanksgiving is that year, the Native Americans and the early settlers had a wonderful, large harvest. And they were feeling so good about that, they decided to come together in peace, to gather together and have a bountiful feast together. And I love this picture by Jean Leon Jerome Ferris because you can see that he really captured the their faces, their facial expressions to show how much joy and peacefulness that they were all feeling. My understanding of the conditions at that time was they, there was a lot of challenges going on. There was a lot of famine, disease, there was lots of loss of life, and there were harsh winter conditions. And with all that negativism that was going around, it was probably a really healthy thing for them to take some time and embrace the positive and the pleasures that were coming their way by celebrating this feast together. You know, nowadays I hear a lot of people talk about what negative society that we live in. And if that is the case, I think we need to take the first Thanksgiving as a lesson to all of us and make sure that we're all taking time to set aside uh, moments to embrace the positives in our life and to express gratitude for them. There have been research studies done on the benefits of expressing gratitude. And one particular study that was conducted in 2003 by Dr. Robert Emmons and Dr. Michael McCullough, what they did is they took a number of participants and they divided them up into three groups. In the first group, they had them note the various things that had occurred in their lives in the past week that they were thankful for. In the second group, they were to record the daily frustrations and things that had bothered them on a daily basis. And in the third group, they just recorded events that had impacted them with no instruction as to whether those events were to be positive or negative. And they were to do this for a period of 10 weeks. At the same time they were making their recordings, they were also taking ratings on various aspects of their well-being. So for instance, they were talking about how their mood was, as well as how they were feeling physically. And what they discovered is that the gratitude group participants at the end of the 10 weeks, felt much more optimistic and felt much better about their lives than the frustration group and the life and events group. Additionally, they also found that the gratitude group participants had many less physical complaints and actually exercised more than the frustration group and the life and events group. Amy Marin, who is a clinical social worker, licensed clinical social worker, she wrote an article for Psychology Today where she reviewed all of the scientifically proven benefits that come to people when they express gratitude. And she came up with seven of them. The first benefit that she identified was the development of new relationships. And let's think about that for a moment. People like people who say thank you to them when they do something nice. People who are often expressing gratitude are very attractive people to other people, so the development of new relationships comes easy to them. Another benefit that the research has shown that comes from expressing gratitude is increased self-esteem. You know, and I was thinking about that, you know, whenever I take the time to send an email where I'm thanking somebody or I tell somebody in my life how much I appreciate them, 
it makes me feel good about myself. I think, well, you know what? That was a really nice thing that you did. A third benefit that the scientific research showed about expressing gratitude is that it helps increase feelings of happiness while decreasing feelings of depression. A fourth benefit that was found in the research is that people feel better physically with fewer aches and pains when they are in a pattern of expressing gratitude to other people. A fifth benefit is that people feel have increased feelings of empathy towards other people and decreased revengefulness that they play on other people. And I think we all know that's a good thing. Another benefit, improved sleeping patterns for those who express gratitude. And a final benefit that the scientific research has shown us is an increase in resilience or the ability to bounce back well and good from stressful events. You know, I'm one of those people that at Thanksgiving time, I like to go around the table and have everybody say one thing that they're thankful for. And yes, I get groans and moans about that activity, but you know, I don't take no for an answer. And as we're going around the table, even those people who groaned and moaned the most, I can see that they're enjoying the activity and taking a lot of joy away from it. I'd like to put out a challenge to all of you that over the next month, I would like if each and every day you took a moment, just one time a day, where you either thank somebody who did something nice for you in that day, or go to somebody who's real special in your life and let them know how much you appreciate them. Try to do that every day for 30 days and you will reap the benefits and they will as well. And I'm gonna start with my very first one and I'm gonna thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my presentation. And that felt really good. Take care.